Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mysterious Mr. Ryan, and welcome to the Shipyard Project. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier this week I was challenged by The Sims Online to complete one of their online building challenges. So, for those of you who aren't aware, The Sims Online do a weekly challenge where they challenge you to build a home uh, to a certain specification from a floor plan, um, and they also have some longer term plans running on their site itself. Links in the description down below for that. So they contacted me and asked if I would like to actually complete one of the challenges, so I chose the shipping container challenge. So this is pretty much exactly what it says on the tin. The idea is to build a house based around nothing but shipping containers. So the containers themselves have to be 12 by 4 squares uh, for the uh, sort of uh, regular shape. And if you have any diagonal containers, they kind of need to be anywhere between sort of like uh, we've agreed for 3 by 10. Um, you could adjust them slightly, but if you do a 4 by 12, you end up with some ridiculous size containers. So we decided against that and we settled for the 3 by 10. So with this uh, shipping containers, I wanted to step away from sort of a standard sort of layering of one on top of another. And that's why I've actually tried to make this design a little bit stranger than usual. So I started off with the two on the bottom, then finished up with two diagonals. And then as we move to the top floor, there's three on the top. So I slightly offset the, the uh, parallel two and then put the one in the center at the back. So with the shipping containers, they all have these decked areas on the outside, uh, which makes it a nice place for your sims to come and look out in the uh, sunset. And uh, again, in the morning, you can get a nice sunrise from here as well. So with the containers, you have to make sure that I was following a set collection of options. So I've been given a set collection of wallpapers I could use uh, to try and make them look and feel as close to shipping containers as I could. So I've opted for the same style for every single container and then just changed the color. So we've got two red in there, a green, a couple of browns and some lighter colors as well. Even I think that's a kind of a gray come white there as well. So I've put some fake floors around uh, around the top there to allow me to get some trim in, which you can see I uh, added to the top of all the builds. And then now I'm just going around on the balcony areas and adding in the fences. So with the fences, I want to give this kind of an industrial rugged feel. So um, aside from the fences on the balconies, the stairs themselves have no handrails whatsoever. I have no handrails on any of the internal uh, stairs either. So it is literally as industrial as I can get it to feel. Because let's be honest, if you're building a ship and container house, you're not going to be looking for the most refined modern look. You're going to be looking for kind of an industrial feel. So on the downstairs. What I've actually done is I've created a nice patio garden area for your sims to come and sit out and relax over an evening or just do some swimming or enjoy the sunshine. Unfortunately I bumped into an interesting glitch which basically if you try and place a swimming pool and then place floor tiles around it you occasionally bump into a problem where the uh, basically the game thinks the terrain is raised but because there's no terrain adjust tool uh, you can't actually lower it so you have to delete the swimming pool and place down the floor tiles so if you're going to build this yourself or actually build anything with the complex swimming pool just bear that in mind because you may end up having to do all your work again which I have to admit I have done on some trial builds in the past. So with the swimming pool there, you just simply place down some fire spotlights to make it quite a light area and also some nice light blue turtles on the floor as well. As we move up then, we can see I've done a patio floor in the centre and the ground floor. I've laid down a concrete on the middle floor. And as we move to this top floor, the white floor is a white marble. And then the uh, black part is a black marble. And I've tried to trace the shape of the shipping containers. And that's why the black goes in that line there, which I think is a subtle but really important touch and really, really looks nice on that particular part of the build. As we move all the way down there, it's time to start working on the internal parts of this project itself. So we start off here then. So this is the green room as I call it. So this is kind of the uh, kitchen come dining area. So we start off then, nice big open uh, windows in the front and a nice big open door. Uh, in the inside, as we move to the inside, we've got a nice green wallpaper, quite a pastel colour. Uh, some sort of dark, it's kind of a turquoisey. I'm not really sure what colour this uh, cabinet is to be honest, I kind of think it's a blue come grey but I'm not sure if it might have some green hints as well. Anywho, that goes all the way around the uh, main part of the kitchen, there's even a breakfast bar area as well. We've put in some major appliances, so your fridge, uh, we've put in a dishwasher, we've put in an oven, a hood top as well and uh, the cabinets go all the way around the top including some uh, corner pieces and some end pieces as well. Some nice lights on the wall there to brighten up the kitchen. This is something I used in a previous build and actually really brightened up the whole room. So I wanted to use it again. I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out here as well. Just as we move around then, we've got the breakfast bar and the nice blue rug underneath the uh, nice chairs so your sims can come and sit. If there's only a couple of them, just having some cereal of the morning, a nice place to sit and look out the window. 
So just placing down some spotlights now, it's time to move on to the actual dining area itself. So with the dining area, nice big glass table and uh, room for eight sims here. You cannot fit eight sims in the actual lot itself, but if your sims want to have their friends over for a nice dinner party, you've got more than enough room. Some potted plants in the corners for some decorative items and also we're going to put in a nice couple of cabinets with some dishes in as well. Uh, so you can have a display case of uh, all your nice cutlery. Finish it up with a couple of uh, rainbow hearts on the wall and also a couple of decorative items uh, just to as a, have it as a bit of a display and a centerpiece on the middle of your table. Now it's time to move over to the red room. So the red room or red container is basically kind of a library calm viewing lounge relaxation area. It fits quite a few criteria. So we start off then with a nice red dark wallpaper and a nice dark wood. We place down some freestanding lights in each of the corners which kind of look a bit like candles and a nice big big flat screen TV. We've got a chessboard in there and uh, also have a nice place for your sims to come and do a bit of reading if they want to. So some nice red, uh, uh, sorry, red chairs there, uh, speaker system and there goes the bookcase now. It's finishing up with some artwork on the wall and it's time to move through the build a little bit and uh, start working on the outside. So we can see there's now an artwork on that decked area at the front there and as we move to the back area here we've got a nice set of outdoor table and chairs and a cabinet, uh, sorry a cook outdoor cooker there and even a set of monkey bars for your children. Okay so as we move to the upper floor now, so this is the first floor, we've got a nice glass table and chairs on the outside, a nice big big modern looking door on the front of what will be the brown container, nice big circular windows on this particular container, uh, slightly smaller ones on either end because of the fact they're three wide, the big circular ones take up a two space area and we're actually off centre and I'm afraid that really messes with my OCD if I do anything like that. As we move through then, uh, we've now added an extra window at the back there to account for the fact that you can fit five. There's also some nice wall lights there as well and four nice big bookcases in that lovely wood colour. As we move around, as I mentioned earlier, this is quite an industrial build so I haven't bothered with any handrails whatsoever. Um, so what I've done is put the chairs there looking out over what will be the stairs area and the suit of armour on the wall as well. Uh, so a nice place for your sims to come and read and a few more chairs go down as well. A couple in the centre, a couple off to the side um, just for your sims to come and have a nice place to come and do some reading. Also this is kind of a study area as well so what I've done is I've put down a nice piece of artwork in the corner and also a nice desk with a nice leather chair and also a modern looking computer so your sims can do some research, play some games, uh, do some studying, do their homework, whatever they need to do really. So now it's time to move on to the other side. So the other side of this particular build is kind of a fitness area come... Yeah, I think fitness area is probably the best way to say it. So what I've done here then is I've put in some nice big big open plan windows now. Um, I've also put in a nice light pastel yellow as a wallpapers and some modern artwork um, and also some sort of landscapes as well. I'm now going to put in some nice big big mirrors on the wall and uh, this will have a couple of running machines, a weightlifting machine and a punching bag in it now. Um, so obviously with your sims if you want to add more or take away this stuff or use this room for something different you easily can. Um, I just opted for a fitness room because I thought you've got a bit of space to one side, we've got everything we sort of need and all the bases covered but you could easily turn this into maybe another sims bedroom perhaps um, if they don't mind having stairs leading down. You could do with it pretty much whatever you want. So as we move to the top floor now, the top floor itself um, I'm really really pleased with. So we start off with this, the main bedroom. So we start off with a nice modern looking door, nice modern looking windows. With this we've gone for a nice light uh, colour walls with a dark wood floor and I've kept the dark wood going as pretty much a theme. So we've got a nice really dark wood set of drawers there with a couple of mirrors above it and the artwork's perfectly spaced out either side. Nice big double bed and uh, the bedside tables to match the chest of drawers. Uh, obviously some nice decorative uh, items in here now, so we've got a couple of plants either side of the uh, double bed there, uh, that actually acts as desk lights. We've got a nice centerpiece there, a nice set of flowers on the uh, desk and also a little bear with his lovely little pink heart. We've got a nice uh, seating area here as well, so we've got a nice couple, uh, couple of places to sit. Uh, we've got a nice coffee table there, nice place for a big flat screen TV and also a bookcase and some artwork as well. So kind of a musical theme going on here, so pretty much the nice piano keyboard there and also the violins on the wall complete that room really, really nicely. Finishing up with some curtains on the wall and it's time to move over to what is the bathroom on the top floor. 
So this is the only bathroom in the entire lot, so I wanted to make it something a bit special. So we start off then with some nice big red windows, nice red tile floor, and some spotlights. So the spotlights, I will only keep the centre one in the end, the outside two will be replaced shortly. I put down a nicer area for your sims to come and relax, so the nice sauna area and the screens there to try and give it a bit of privacy in the sauna. Um, toilet, sink, and uh, there you go, there you go, the spotlights, a nice big corner bath as well. Mirror above the sink and also a shower so your sims can wash off after they've had their sauna. And some artwork on the wall, again with that nice glowing symbol through it, acts as a bit of a light source along with these curtains. So these curtains are the actual light uh, curtains, so they actually brighten up the room as well as look very decorative. And then finished it off as well with some towel racks on the wall for your sims to dry off after the sauna. So just uh, outside this, uh, what will be the nursery, I've put a nice easel looking out over the balcony there at the nice sunset or sunrise so your sims have got a lovely view they can paint. So as we move to the nursery area, so we start off with these nice two lamps hanging from the ceiling there. So with this, I want to keep this quite a neutral colour as best I could. So we've gone with yellows, oranges and light colours, they're kind of beigey. Um, so trying to keep this neutral for any particular gender of child that your sims were to have. So a nice child's bed with a bedside table in there, a nice yellow rug. Keeping with the theme, we've got a yellow chest of drawers there with a nice silver bear with his yellow heart on there as well. Uh, child's bookcase and also uh, moving round then we've got another bedside table next to the bassinet. Again with yellow, Drago watching over it all and then finishing up with some uh, decals on the wall as well. So we've got a couple of leaping bunnies and some clouds as well. Just moving around then, next is to put up some finishing touches which is some artwork on the wall, a couple of night lights uh, either side on the bedside cabinets, a child's mirror so they can practice and uh, then also a dollhouse, a little tiny violin and a mobile above the bassinet. And that is pretty much finishing off the nursery now, so just finish up with a couple of decorative items there and that's the nursery done. As we move to the entrance area, so the entrance hall, I wanted to kind of get a nice area for your sims to sort of enter the whole building with, so I've got uh, some nice flower beds running either side of the uh, first two buildings, and they finish up and basically get a nice little walkway for your sims to come into. Finish up by putting a nice little dirt patch around, and uh, also some tiles in there as well. The last area is just this lovely little decorative item that has a lovely tree on it. Um, so this is just, there was a bit of empty space here. I didn't want to extend that back garden anymore, so I've just put a nice tree here for your sims to come and sort of, just to kind of finish off the lot really. Uh, but you could easily put something there if you had any ideas. So now as we move into the glamour shots, uh, I just want to stress that this build was challenged to me by The Sims Online and they are so amazing for approaching me. I really highly recommend checking out some of the challenges and their website, links in the description down below. Obviously if you have liked what you've seen here, it would mean so much to me if you like and subscribe that down below. If you have any challenges you would like me to do, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. I read all the comments and try to reply to as many of them as I can. Um, also, if you want to stay up to date with me, there's links to my Twitter, there's also to my email. Any way you want to get in contact with me, I'm happy to have a chat. Also, ladies and gentlemen, it would mean so much to me if you think you could share this video with your friends, if you think they might like it, if you know any other simmers out there, don't forget to look, watch and share. It means so much to me when I see your tweets go out promoting my videos. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mysterious Mr. Ryan. This is the shipyard. And don't forget, if you want to, you can search and download this on the gallery just by searching Mysterious Mr. Ryan. And uh, you'll be able to see this build along with all my other builds. And again, Obviously, don't forget to check out some of my other builds, there's playlists, there's everything you want on my channel. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mysterious Mr. Ryan, and I'm out. I will see you later, and do take care.